3D rendering with Flutter Scene. In the latest release 3.24, Flutter has announced this new feature, Flutter GPU. Is it really useful? We will discover in this video. Just to inform you that there are two parts of this update. One, where you can create custom renderers up to low-level graphics APIs and the other where you set up 3D scenes. Honestly speaking, I didn't felt like short of widget working with Flutter. And if I really need to customize, I can make my own custom widget. It's pretty simple though. Now I am not saying that it's totally waste. Low level graphics access is good for application where they need completely new widget or customized rendering mechanism. But it comes with the cost of you as a developer, writing all the possible cases and handling all the essential life cycle of the widget. So I don't see any major impact of this on the casual developer community. Now talking about 3D scene, that's what you are here for. In a simple word, I would say it's overwhelming. Not that you cannot follow these steps and create a demo project, but the fact that it's still under preview and it has so many steps to just bring in the 3D object to life. For that reason, I am out. But are we going to close this video without 3D scene? No. 3D objects are helpful when you are reviewing items in the app, like if you are shopping online. It would be a great idea to interact with item and see all the aspects in more engaging way. So, with latest stable release, let's create an empty Flutter project. I will use Flutter 3D controller package to render the 3D model, so let's add it as dependency. Now we need the model to render. You can find 3D models online in various formats. Currently, this package support GLB and GLTF formats. Don't worry, you can turn any OBJ file to GLB with online converters or just use these sample files provided in the GitHub repository. Let's add this file to assets folder and inform the pubspec about assets. This tells Flutter which directory to bundle along with final build. For simplicity, here we will bring the Flutter 3D viewer widget. The only required property is source here, so we will provide complete path of the 3D model and this should pretty much work. Because we added package while the app was running, it's always recommended to restart app so that all the dependencies are resolved properly. But still, we have some issue. As always, we need to specify height to the Flutter 3D view because it cannot determine itself what size it will take. Wrapping with size box and giving some initial height works, you can change as per the need. And here you have a 3D sandwich. This is low poly 3D model, but can Flutter handle a full blown 3D object with shadow and reflection and texture? Yes, of course. Let's just swap the asset file with damaged helmet, which I found in Flutter demo page. And here you have a complex 3D scene. But wait a minute, how to control the animation of the model? If I want it to rotate or just spin it 360 degree programmatically. You can do that by Flutter 3D controller, which provides camera orbit, target and other properties to control your model. This looks amazing. With single code base, you can run 3D scene on Android, iOS and web. And this is only going to get better with Flutter 3D scene support in future releases. Leave a comment below if you can think of a better use case for this feature. If you would like to know more about custom widget creation and animation, check out this playlist. And to explore what Flutter is capable of, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.